You're locked into the NFL on EA Sports. Up next, we've got what should be a great matchup between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. I'll have scores around the league for you at the half, but it's time for a little football. So we'll hand it over to our broadcast team, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, we welcome everybody to the Garden State. EA Sports coverage of the NFL finds us at MetLife Stadium in East Rutherford, New Jersey. Nothing like the fanfare of introductions to an NFL game, and that was in evidence a moment ago. Fireworks, pyrotechnics, you name it, this crowd is ready as their guys get set to match up between the Philadelphia Eagles and the New York Giants. Alongside my partner Charles Davis, I'm Brandon Gordon, and Charles, you take a look at this Giants ball club. They come in feeling good after back-to-back -back victories. Meanwhile, for our visitors, the Eagles, they too were winners last time out, so something's got to give here. I love it when both teams come in off of wins. Great mindsets, and it usually leads to a really well-played game. Sack. Yeah, how about that? Although they won't get the same credit for it, 
and it won't help him at contract time. Big grip, big grip. Here's Jones on third down. Got a man, Slayton. They're able to convert on third down, and that sets up the first and goal. Passing numbers so far on this first drive. Oh, no doubt about it. They're bringing it around pretty successfully. And look at the start. The confidence level that we see in him rising because he's hit a few early. And how about the last one? The big shot right there. Second and goal, but now all the way back at the 14. Throwing Jones. Well, the pressure too great, and he goes down once more. Boom! All Charles, a little bit of feast or famine on this drive. They moved the ball okay, but they've been sacked twice now. And they've got to figure out how to plug that leak a little bit, right? Keep them away from the quarterback because when he's not being hit, as you mentioned, they're moving the ball well. They need to reverse the trend. The last two plays have gone backwards. Now it's third and goal. Now Jones operating from the gun. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Don't go this way. They were ball hawks last week. They had a trio of interceptions on defense in the first drive. They pick up right where they left off. They're creating quite a reputation for themselves, aren't they? And sometimes what happens is when they know that the defense can take the ball away as they saw the, the previous week, now you try too hard to not let them take it away, and you force yourself into errors. They've intimidated them, in a sense, and gotten the ball from them. The Eagles' offense back out onto the field. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 15. So after the INT, here's Wentz. And complete to Zach Ertz. And he'll get this one way up just shy of the 45 yard line. He got 29 yards that time. But when you hit him on the move like that, he's able to get into open field with a full head of steam. Oh, boy, it's going to be tough to get him down. Yeah, there was a big window. They're lucky they did get him down. Here we go, Took here we just go. one play to move all the way to the 44 as they try again on first down. Miles Sanders' first carry of the game. The numbers from Sanders last week, 17 carries, 70 yards and a touchdown. They've got a nice scheme there right now. They run the football pretty well. In fact, I was talking with him on the field before the game, and he said he's starting to hear from the guys ahead of him on the rushing yardage target, and they want to know if he's going to jump up there and join them at the top of the list. And they're going to have another first down as the tackle's made at the Giants' 42. So the drive takes him in the Giants' territory now, first and 10 at the 42-yard line. Oh, a nice throw here right side. He hauls it in. And Let's go. down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another nice gain. That's now 30 yards between those last two plays. Really been an ideal start for them. They get the turnover on the opening possession. Now here they are moving the ball straight down the field on their first drive. And that feels good, but you know on their side of the field, all they're thinking is finish this drive off because they took it away, right? So now you got them back on the wheels a little bit. Now go down, put a touchdown in. Look out. You've won the mental battle early in the game, and that may carry over for you. Two times, two times. Second and nine. Wentz. The 
his short throw caught by Goddard. And on this one, he'll get to the 15, right at the 15-yard line. The reception good for seven. Good down their game. It's now for a throw, but incomplete. Early on, right? Third and short. They like to throw for it. And that's normal NFL football. They're going to throw on third and short. Right, here, but you got to hit it, don't you? Yeah, in the first quarter, like you said, to set the tone. Can't connect there. Right, to throw. It's Wentz. This is caught by Jackson. And he'll be taken down at the two yard line. Some collective exhales over there on the sideline. A big pickup to the area. Fourth down to bring up first and goal. <laughs> again. And Goddard's got it. Touchdown, Eagles. Dallas Goddard, his second touchdown on the season as his guys are able to strike first here in this opening quarter. Yeah, he is a reliable target. They like to get him involved. They got him involved there for the score. And they should. He's a very good player. Remember, they can use him in certain positions, so many different spots, and he usually comes through for them. And his kick is no good. And what a special start here kicking wise as this one stays a 6 0 game. Now he's back out there to boom this one away, maybe with some frustration after the PAT miss. This is fielded at the goal line. And it's a pretty good return here as he'll get it up to the 29 yard line. set to take the field. And there are parts of their last drive they'd like to emulate. Of course, they'd like to forget the ending, the interception, but they did put together, Charles, a nice sustained drive to get him down the field. Yeah, and unfortunately for them, the only thing that matters is part two, right? Because once they threw the interception and finished off the drive, that does them no good to go back and say, well, you know what, a good one done and finish things off. That's the only way you can get it done. Meanwhile, they take a shot to start the drive, but this is going to wind up incomplete. Golden Tate, his intended receiver. And will bring up second down. Ready, ready. Three and a half to go, 15, first quarter. Now. This is Shepard on the catch. And he'll lose yardage here, going down back at the 28. He'll wind up losing a yard on the play, and that'll bring up a third and 11 situation. If you're a selfish player and you're throwing the ball, you're cool with the completion. Maybe not so cool with the yardage loss, though, huh? Yeah, you went, you went backwards on the yardage. Hey, it kind of works like a sack for the defense there. Yeah, it's a really big play for them, right? Able to figure it out, down. sniff it out, Seven and finish it Indy. off. Jones fakes the give to Barkley. And that is incomplete. Not only was the call spot on, how about the execution of that defense right there? Zone was absolutely locked up tight. He was trying to force it in there on third down. But if there's a time to force it, he felt like he needed to make a play, right? Yeah, exactly right. Third down, you got to try and find something. There's nothing available there for him. And no one there to stop it. Hits it the eight, but it carries all the way into the end zone for a touchback. The Eagles offense now, they head back on the field. Wentz and the Eagles now with a first and 10 at their own 20 yard line. A quick throw there out to Jeffrey. And he's going to lose yardage here. Back to his own 18. It's a loss of two there, bringing it up second down. First play of the drive goes the wrong way. Here's second and 12. Here's Sanders. They get 11 back on that one. It leads to third down. So from second and long, now we go to third and very manageable. Yeah, they love that play. He's got that because as an offensive coordinator, you can keep people a little bit off balance and guessing because you don't have to throw it. You can come back with a strong Let's run go, game if you want to. And if you're in four down territory, that really opens things up for you. Watch the back. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Wins on the give to Sanders. 
Solid run on first down. Gain of seven leaves him with a second and three. If these kinds of lanes are available, you have to feel like he's going to have a pretty big game on the ground. Yeah, you can tell. He's got the burst in his step. That's a big pickup right there. Second down pass play there, but it's incomplete. You know it's not an easy job to go out and catch my passes when people are trying to tackle you and knock the ball away. But the bottom line is, that's a pass he's got to have and a pass he should have caught. Going to go to Clement here out of the backfield. And he's got the first down yardage before go, being taken down go. at midfield. Seven yards there, good enough to move the sticks. And that one was a lot of fun right there because that was the game within the game. Third and short, Blitz was on. What's the key for the quarterback? Get out of your hands and off. There's a quick little completion. Got the job done for a first down. The throw by Wentz, caught by Jackson. Now he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. 14 yards there and an eagle first down. Timing is everything, and they work on this cut all the time. They work on all the timing patterns, and this time it paid off for them. Worked him to the center of the field, right, cut it to the man. outside, oh, balls to Liberty, gets both feet down for the completion. <laughs> Wins now, already over 100 yards passing in just this first quarter. It's first and 10. Oh, he's able to outmuscle him here as he pulls it in. A big pick up there for the Eagles' first down, 18 yards. Check, check, Wentz going to lead his guys up first and 10. And he's 5 for 6 now, throwing the ball on this drive. And stopped a few yards shy of the goal line at the three. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Six nothing our score after one. Two big plays in succession. Not sure this D knows what hit them, but now they got to get ready. It's first and goal. Now wins. Got him in. Up and it hurts. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Carson Wentz with two first half touchdown passes. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. And there was no going through the progressions on that touchdown pass. Yeah, nor was it necessary. His receiver won that route early, presented himself. No reason to wait. Go ahead and put it on him and score a touchdown. Here we go, here Doug go. Peterson here says, here. let's go for two here. Watch the screen. Watch the screen. From the gun, the Twins. And he will get into the end zone to extend the lead by two more. So they're able to throw it in for the two-point conversion. Sometimes that can be a risky play, but they got it. Yeah, you always have to be careful here because if you do get an intercepted, it's returned by the defense. That's two points for them, but he identified an open target and put it right on him. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. Come on, baby. Let's go! the Giants offense back out onto the field. Already down two touchdowns here in the first half. This becomes a pretty important drive, doesn't it? It certainly does, and a lot of teams script plays. We know that, right? They, they have a script to start the ball game, and typically those scripts go between 12 and 24, 25 players. Down two touchdowns early, probably not very deep into their script. I think that they'll stay with it. I don't think they'll abandon it just yet and try to generate some offense on this drive. Anything, at least three points get that zero off the board. A loss of a yard there to start out. That leads to a second and 11. They'll give to Barkley out of the gun. Give him a loss of six yards, and it brings up third down. Ready, ready. So time to start going in the other direction as they come up now third and long. You got nothing. Five. Jones now from the ground he'll throw. Catch made by Slayton. And they work this well up field across the 35. That big 27 yards on the third down conversion. One thing I can say pretty safely, that one is not called. If you don't have a guy who can throw the ball and put some muscle on it. Because if you go lollipop it in the middle of the field, Bad things usually happen. It takes a strong arm hey, guy who can right foot in there, and they were able to successfully complete that one. No gain on the play there. Second down. 
Black 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 Jones, rush coming, and he's taken down. Duke Riley came in there hard on the blitz and got him down nine yards behind the line of scrimmage. That's three sacks now. That's not much of a surprise to me, nor should it be to you. This team, they lead the league in sacks. Yeah, they do. This is something that we are starting to witness time and time again. Now Jones. Will get this out to Barkley complete. Yeah, he'll be out of bounds after getting this one across the 40. It's a gain of five on the play, and that's going to bring up a fourth down. Everyone's got to be able to catch the football. Doesn't matter what position you play, but if you're on offense, be aware a ball may come your way. And that will hit and continue on out of bounds. We're certainly not going to say better part than that. Definitely taking a chance because if that thing clips the pylon, it comes out to the 20, but instead, it goes out of bounds at the one yard line. Philadelphia getting set to take the field. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. That could really put them in command before their mission. Yeah, and it's all well and good what they're seeing and how they're feeling. Oh, and he's not going to make it out of the end zone. The push too strong, and that'll be a safety. Well, I think you can go ahead and give your punter an assist on that one. Pinned him deep, and the defense comes through with two points. You're exactly right, partner. This was all set up by a great punt. And if the ball goes in the end zone, this never happens. So great call. Give the punt team and the punter some love. Out comes this field general once more, leading his offense back onto the field. And I guess the question, Charles, is what's the formula for keeping him better protected? Because as we see, the protection, it struggled. And normally what you get is renewed determination. <laughs> when the big guy gets hit, that usually sparks people. Hey, we can't let this happen Eight anymore. Three. We take it personally. He's not Five, supposed 53. to be on the ground. But that hasn't been the case so far in this game. So maybe they got to figure out how do they get rid of the ball faster to help out the offensive line so he doesn't get hit as much. And we'll see if they can keep him Face off man. the ground now going Defense. forward. So they'll take the yardage and tack on 15 more for the face man. Talk about a play that absolutely costs you in the end. Just trying to do your job, right? Trying to get him on the ground. Next thing you know, they're marching up another 15 against your squad. Looking to throw. Jones. And the pressure will get to him. He goes down. Offense. Now there is a flag on the play, but this looks like holding on the offense. Well, they've already allowed three sacks in this first half. Now a holding penalty. So I think drastic measures had to be taken, right? The regular way was not working. He was getting hit almost every snap that it felt like. They had to try and keep him upright. After the penalty, they go with Barkley. It's a gain of three, and it'll be second down. One thing to keep in mind, partner, especially in the second half, when you've got a running back of this size, of these dimensions, I can just tell you how attrition does set in for a defense because you're excited about hitting them in the first half. Maybe not so much in the second half. For some of these shorter games, tell them to put the runs in. Pretty surprising when they lined up to run on that second and long, but it worked out for them. It certainly did, and that requires some confidence, some fortitude, and a little bit of hope, doesn't it? You hope you catch your defense just right and break off a bit. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Derek Barnett coming in and dropping for a loss of eight, and it also brings up four. The amount of sacks that they've absorbed in this game is absolutely extraordinary. Let's just face it. This offensive line, flat out, cannot handle this pass rush. It's been demonstrated time and time again. Here's Ryan Quigley now. As the drive goes backwards, so he's on to punt it away. He's been a busy man here in this first half as he gets it away. Yeah, he was looking for the checkup bounce, didn't get it. That scoops all the way into the end zone now for a touchback. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And the last time they had the football, they surrendered two points on the safety. They really don't want to do that one again. No, not at all. It's almost like a bases clearing double. Yeah. Isn't it give up a couple of runs? Sure. Oh, it just, it just messes things up for you offensively. But now they've got to go ahead, take it, set it aside, and move forward. Second and seven, Wentz. In the heavy traffic, and it's 
It's intercepted. Picked up by the Michigan man, Javier Peppers. And he will take us across midfield and down the 48 yard line. <laughs> trouble written all over from the start. He's got two extra defensive backs in the game he's got to deal with. They're in a dime set. So everywhere he's looking, he's seeing a different color jersey. And sure enough, this one winds up being intercepted. Second down. The opening play of the drive goes backwards. Now they'll come up on second and 12. From the midfield strike, they'll look to throw. It's hauled in by Shepard. Pass the 20. And he will take it away for a giant touchdown. Sterling Shepard. His second touchdown on the season as his guys are back within a single score. A nice throw there by the second-year quarterback. And I don't believe that's the kind of play he would have made as a rookie because usually your rookie season is a continuation of your college days. A lot of one read, and if you don't have it, you just take off and go. Now he's settled in the pocket a little bit more, reading the field and getting to a second and sometimes third progression. That was a nice play. Aldrich Grosis on for the extra point. This is back to a five-point game. The long touchdown pass gets him six on a very, very tidy two-play drive that time. Now after the touchdown, here's Rosas on to kick it away. This will be taken in at the one. And he'll get across the 20 before he's brought down. Let's go! At about the 23 yard line. There again is the running back as he trots out of the field. He's over 40 yards here in the second quarter. Been nice and effective for him, hasn't he? He has definitely been dependable. And really shouldn't underestimate what he's getting done here because anytime you're on a pace that's going to approach 100 yards, he really done some damage in an NFL game. Now he's looking just to add to his toes. That first down completion only netted him three. Second and seven. It's a second down run with Sanders. He takes this for three to turn it out. Typically, we think it's the strongest safeties that are better tacklers, especially closer to the line of scrimmage and makes traffic. But in this case, I'm not the free safety coming up and making the big time play. Now a third down throw, but it misses the target incomplete. And that's a crusher right there. Had his man open for a first down. And a fake here. Direct snap to the up man. Going absolutely nowhere. He'll wind up losing a yard or two. A little trick creation there, but it doesn't fool this defense. And the Giants are going to take over in great field position. 53. Check 53. You must be dreaming. Jones on first down finds his tight end Ingram. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Now that's staying ahead of the chance. Really good pick up on first down, hitting the tight end there. Now brings up the second and manageable. Just found a hole in that zone. And they got it inside the 10 at the end. A solid pick up of 12 yards, and now they're knocking on the door. They held him in check in the first half, but that's his longest carry of the game right there. So would this be the definition of fresh legs since he didn't get much done in the first half? Now he really has a great opportunity. He's taking full and he will take it on in for a giant touchdown. Saquon Barkley, his ninth touchdown of the season, and the Giants have taken the lead. Solid job up front, really just a solid job all the way around to get that one in. That was well executed, wasn't it? Well blocked, well run, end result, six points. Touchdown. Roses now to add the PAT. Drive there, only 
spanning three plays. And the rookie, Saquon Barkley, the one who finishes things off with a touchdown run. This is taken at his four. And he'll take this one near the 25, caught at the 26 yard line. You're ready. You're ready. The Eagles offense set to begin the next drive. On first down, it's Sanders. And he's going to lose yardage and be backed up to the 25. It's a loss of a yard there, and it's second down. After the loss to start out, here's second and 11. Two minutes remaining in this first half of football. And we remind you, coming up at the half, we'll join who chose? The coach. <laughs> the coach, Jonathan Coachman, standing by in Orlando. We'll have stats and scores from games in progress, as well as scores from earlier today. So we get slap happy up here sometimes. Coming out on third down, Lance. First down here at about the 40. Nine yards on the pick up there, and it keeps the ground alive. And Brandon, from our time in college football, the receivers weren't running the traditional NFL round trade. And then they did learn, find open areas, find soft spots, and set up and catch the ball. I think we just saw that there. Yeah, we saw that indeed picking up the first. The throw over the middle taken in. And he'll be taken down, but not before he works it past the 50. The Eagles going to take the first of their timeouts. As they'll stop it with just over a minute to go before halftime. On first down, Reds. And he backs it away, and it falls down incomplete. The secondary has been roasted in this first half. They're going to measure revenge there. Nice play on the deep ball. Yeah, they're going to need a few more plays like that to get their confidence fully back. But that's one step in the proper direction. And this time he's got the hookup. It's complete. I know many people like the throw to the tight end, maybe in a little flexed out position because he creates mismatches with his size. The slot receivers do the same thing with their fitness, their speed, and their route running side. Oh, and this one's going to go the wrong way. Losing yardage back at the 42. Wentz going to go on fourth down. And he connects with Oates. And he lost the football. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And he's able to get it back to the 41 yard line. So they tried it. Not only did they not get the first, they fumbled it away. Yeah, it's one of those things where it went from bad to worse, but I know that everyone's going to pile in on the call and say, well, what are you doing? Why would you go for it there? I think the teams that are convinced that they feel pretty good about their game plan, what they want to get done that day, go for it. Give it a try. Hey, let's see if your defense can rescue them a little bit. So a challenge coming down from the booth, and that's where these challenges come from, of course, in the final two minutes and a half. Yeah, and now we're going to New York, right? That's command central for the officials. They'll talk, they'll take a look at it, communicate with the referee at the game site, and issue a final decision, because they do have the final call now. We have hit half 
halftime. Still two more quarters to go. We'll take a timeout. We'll be back after this. You're watching the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. It's in the game. All right, Brandon, thank you very much. More from you two in a minute. But first, let's take a spin around the NFL and see what's going on here in week number 10. We'll start by heading out west to Glendale, Arizona. And it's the Redskins who have the lead in that one. Dwayne Haskins has thrown a touchdown pass. From there, let's head a little further west to Carson to see what's happening with the L.A. Chargers. And at the half, they trail the visiting Jets in that ball game. Josh Adams, a touchdown run in that first half. Finally, let's get down to Houston. Check on the Texans at home at NRG Stadium. And they trail in that ball game to the visiting Tennessee Titans. Ryan Tannehill looking good. Two touchdown passes. Meanwhile, in our game, no shortage of offense as each team has been able to move the ball effectively. Will the defenses show up in the second half? To find out, we give it back to our commentator, Brandon Gotten and Charles Davis. All right, Coach, thank you, and we welcome everyone back for quarter number three. Both teams appear ready for the fight ahead, and we resume action here in quarter number three. Fielded about a yard deep. They'll take this up past the 20 and down at the 22-yard line. Let's go. Out come the Eagles now as they'll go on offense first here in the third quarter. They're close, close game, but they're going to need to do a little bit better probably here in half two, you know? I would agree with that totally. I would guess that in the locker room, they talked about cleaning up some of the errors. But overall, I think they wanted to be positive with them. Yeah, we're right there. Just not playing as well as we need to. Let's pick it up. And we still have a chance to win this game. Yeah, they do. We'll see if they can pick it up. And he'll lose yardage. Brought down at the 32. It'll wind up being a loss of two. And that'll make it second and two. Just make these babies cry all the way back home. On second and two. Wentz. Quick hitter here. It's complete. And he's out of bounds. Able to take this one up to the 35. Only three yards on the catch. It's the again. Walking from the gun. Wentz. Doesn't get him the first down. Brings up a fourth down situation. Really nice job defensively. They knew where the sticks were. They got the stop before. You can't block me. You can't block me. Trying to pick it up with Clement. And an alley to run. And he's got the first down. Yardage before being taken down at midfield. A big roll of the dice on fourth and one, but it pays off. They convert. Brandon, fourth and one on their own side of the 50, and they decide to go for it as a former defender. I take that personally. I can't believe they let them pick that up. They should have swarmed around the scrimmage and stuffed that one. Not surprising because they told us about the supreme confidence they had in the other line and they were able to get that yard. Put the seven to Mike. Watch the seven. I got one. I got one. They'll go again with Sanders. And he'll get it down on the plane to the 37. Now, what a first down pickup of eight. Yeah, once more, strong running. Excellent blocking at the point of attack. Look at a nice little drive brewing right here. Line of scrimmage, the 37 on first and 10. Shotgun snap, and then the give to Sanders. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. 14 yards there, and an eagle first down. But they're getting ready to go to work now in prime real estate after that last run. Found his spot and picked up nice yardage, didn't he? And now he's got him knocking on the door of the red zone. On first and ten, it's Clement. This will be stopped about two yards shy of the marker. Eight-yard gain, second and two. Eight yards the gain on that last run. Here's second and a couple. They'll stay on the ground with Clement. And he is into the end zone. Touchdown, Philadelphia. Corey Clement, his first touchdown on the year. And once again, the Eagles are back out in front. I know we don't talk about it enough, but the intelligence level of the guys up front blocking, the offensive linemen, maybe the smartest guys in football overall. 
add in a little bit of athleticism and a whole lot of toughness, you've got a lot to deal with, don't you? That's why the guys in the backfield get them really nice Christmas gifts, right? But they're smart, they do. Elliott good on the extra point, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Fielded about a yard deep. Just about the 25, the 24 yard line. Let's go! Here's the Giants' offense now, getting set to start the third quarter. They're down in this game, a chance for the offense, though, to put something on the board, get some momentum here in half. Try and get things kick started for them. And you know, at the half, they discussed how they were going to get that done. This is where scripting comes into play. How many times. plays do you script coming out of the second? Most, most of the time in the first half, you're scripting 12 to 16. I think in the second half, you're really scripting more like 8 to 10. Kind of a starter or a opener, whatever they do, whatever terminology they use, to something to get you off to a quick start. Now this pass into the hands of Saquon Barkley. And we see another pitch and catch there to the running back. This position just continues to evolve. They become just as critical to the passing attack as a lot of receivers' tight ends because their ability to make people miss in the open field can really generate big plays for an offense. Now a shot taken on third down, but it's going to wind up incomplete. This defense is continuing to contest every deep ball that is thrown downfield. And look, it doesn't matter whether you're playing man or zone. Eventually, that becomes man on man. And you've got to trust yourself and go up at that moment of truth and make a play on the football. Well, it wasn't too far from breaking that officially. Give him 15, and the Eagles will have it taking over first and 10. The Eagles offense set to begin their next drive. And now last drive so successful with the ground game, ending in a touchdown. Do you stick with that for a minute? That would be the number one thing you would think of. But so many guys now would look at it and say, we've got them set up so well for play action. Now's the time to take a shot. Yeah. But you know, there was a big time coach in the state of Ohio who once said, if you throw the ball, if you put it in the air, three things can happen, and two of them are bad. <laughs> Keep it on the ground. <laughs> now here's a pass on first down. It's knocked away and incomplete. So second down and ten. Once again, they'll go from the 40. To throw his wins. And he finds his tight end. It's Ertz. Only three yards on the catch. It's third down. Well, they're unable to convert that into much, but it's never a bad idea to try to get the ball into a tight end of his caliber's hands and see what kind of disruption he can cause. Wentz going to throw. He's going to let this go deep for Jackson. And it's intercepted at the goal line. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And that's a nice job defensively to get a piece of the football. He's going to pop it into the air, and then it's the tip drill. And good concentration by him to react to it and pull in the interception. And the Giants ready to come out now. And on the last go around, they really couldn't get anything going. They had to punt from deep inside their own territory, which means you're going to lose the field position battle as a general rule. What they're looking for now is a little more consistency. Move the ball at least a few times on offense, get a couple of first downs, and hopefully flip the field. But just something to build off of. That's what they're looking for here. That'll wind up going for a loss of four. And it'll bring up a second and 14. Well, the first play of the drive lost four. Now they'll look to move it forward here. On second and 14. In trouble here, and down he goes. Back at the eight-yard line. Brandon, I think you understand the type of afternoon this offensive line is having. It is a long one for them. Long for you to spend it with me. Long for them trying to block those guys. They've given up a whole lot of sacks. And the speed and quickness that defensive line is eating them alive. That's complete to Slayton. Now well, that's not going to get it done. He'll come up well short of the first at about the 21. It's a gain of 11, but they're still well short. It's fourth down. That's certainly playing down in distance very well by the defense, isn't it? Take whatever you want underneath, by all means. On the return, Jackson. Call that 
one and even 60 yards. 6-0. And the Eagles will be backed up deep to get the drive started as they take over first and 10. The Eagles offense sent to begin the next drive. A look at the running back. The man out of the backfield as he gears up to go again. Since emerging from the locker room at intermission, he's looked pretty sharp, hasn't he? Face He's man. running in his third defense. Quarter. Like he got the orange slices at the half. Oh, yeah. Uh, you remember he got the kids? orange slices, not the carrot stick. Oh, oh, boy. There, there was always that mob out there. There's always that mob. One yours, one's <laughs> mine. All right, and the carrot sticks. But this guy, orange slices, have been reading the surface tab and watching the defenses, and he's made some nice adjustments. Give him five on the carry there, and it'll be second down. And that's one of the ones you like to blitz even on rundowns. It confuses the blocking assignments and doesn't allow his offensive lineman to get up to the second level. Now a carry for Sanders. And he'll be taken down, but not before they work it across midfield. 22 yards there, first down. They're trying to show that they can run the ball, protect this lead, give it to the backs, play a little bit of keep away, don't you think? Well, that's probably a good philosophy at this point, going to make that defense stand up and stop them. Wentz on the draw, leaves it for Sanders. They're going to snuff this play out behind the line. We have not seen that much today. Call it a full three yards in the wrong direction there. Brings up second down. Wait. I got him, I got him. Now they'll throw it. Lawrence. Blitz coming and down he goes. Dexter Lawrence. Just will not be denied. That's a loss of seven. Eagles coming up here on a third and long, so Winston Company with some work to do after the sack. To throw, it's Wins. Finding a safety valve here, that's complete. 14 yards is the pick up there, but it'll still lead to a fourth down. This offense two for two, converting on these thus far, so why not try again here on fourth down? They'll go for it, and Jeffrey's got it! And he goes down, but not before he's getting this inside the 25. A big pick up there, 20 yards as they convert on fourth. Waits now, a perfect eight for eight to start the second half. Not bad, first and 10. Now Sanders, he is taken down at the 21 after a short gain of two. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this. This is the NFL, and it's on EA Sports. This is Jackson on the quick throw from Wentz. And he takes it down to the 10-yard line. The Eagle passing game looking good on this drive. It's a first down. So first and goal, six points here would go a long way toward wrapping this one up. Now a throw to the end zone on first down, but it winds up incomplete. They'll go again here from the 10-yard line on second and goal. Now Wentz. Flushed out right. Now he'll, and he'll score! Touchdown, Eagles! Carson wins with touchdown number three here in this game and 17 now on the year. And the Eagles able to push further out in front. Well, the defensive coverage was good, so good, he just decided to make a play of his own, and it worked out. Yeah, you often wonder if they think to themselves, was the coverage too good to allow him to run the football? I think you'd rather take your chances with him doing exactly that, and he beat him on that play all the way to the end zone. Elliott good with a PAT, and the decision to just kick the extra point winds up successful. Now, after the touchdown, here's Elliott on to kick it away. This will be fielded on the back line of the end zone. The Giants offense now gets ready to head back onto the field. And with this deficit, you can't have too many more drives like the last drive where you had to punt it away. No, that would tell my offense right here. The punter doesn't exist, guys. He doesn't even exist. He's not on the team anymore. I just cut it. All right? So you got to go out and create some offense for us here and give us some goals. No way. Right there, midfield. It's a gain of 11 in the Giant first 
down. So signs of life in what's been a dark offense in this second half. Here's first and ten. Looking for more there on first down, but this throw downfield incomplete. Come on, set. Stick the out The incomplete pass here now is second and ten. Here's Jones to throw again. That's complete. He's got Barkley out of the backfield. The tally there, minus two yards, brings up third down. Really good defensive effort. They were all over that. Little swing pass out to the right side before lost yarded. Terrific read, better execution, and done with a lot of enthusiasm. Absolutely. They saw it all the way, ran to the football, and calls a nice play for lost yardage. They'll get 11, but still a little short. Fourth down. All right, they're going to try and keep hope alive here on fourth down. They're going for it. Slam route's effective no matter who's running the route and catching the ball. But when you have a receiver of that stature, you have to be a little bit more precise throwing it. You don't have the same catch radius with the bigger targets. Saquon Barkley denied on fourth down. And the Eagles defense able to hold. So they really needed points here in a two-score game. Could not come away with anything there on fourth. And while we know they're a little bit discouraged here, they can't check out of this game. You and I have called and a good number of games over the course of our career. Awesome. We've seen these types of situations. Teams get the ball back, and that miracle That's does occur. Game. So they can't let that dream Still go first just game. yet. They have to get stout on defense here. Yeah, right now, really hoping for a turnover. Let's go, Let's go. Throwing his wins. That's caught by Jackson. And he'll be corralled out across midfield down to the 45. It's a gain of 16 and an eagle first down. That may seem a little unorthodox to some people. Got the lead, fourth quarter, and yeah, he's still firing away. I think he believes that's the best way to go ahead and win the game. A lot of coaches say, let's just run the football and be conservative. He's sticking to his game plan. Now that is his game, and that's what they're going to ride. He'll wind up getting right about four there on the scramble, and it's second down. Sanders. Now he's going to have to protect the football and take his lumps here at this stage of the game as they stop the ball on the line. The Eagles on third down. They're right at about the league average, 40%, 4 for 10. This is third and 10. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Those passes out that far wide always make you hold your breath a little bit. It's like it was in the air for a while. What it does is allows a defender to gain some ground, come from a long distance, and have a chance to affect the pass. Now out comes their leader and the captain of this offense back onto the field. What can they do now, Charles, to make sure this highlight montage doesn't continue to show more pressure and pressure and pressure? You feel like it always comes back to leverage, don't you? Who is going to win that battle of the offensive and defensive lines? No Jonah, man wins, we talk about stop. that, but we think about it in a running oh, game. Man, on, but guess go. what? The same thing happens when you're trying to pass protect. Are you low? Are you balanced? Are you in a position where the pass rush won't bore you over on their way back to the quarterback? They've got to reestablish that. Go. And they're going to try Get to keep set. their man on break. Because they have been bowling over a lot so far Fix in this one. Play. Second and nine now from the 21. Get it. Throwing Jones. Jumping into the middle, and it's incomplete. They were trying to get it there to Sterling Shepard. But now it'll be third down. The Giants on third down. They're hitting at just 30%, three for 10. This is third and nine. And he won't be close to a first down as he runs into the wall. Right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play there, and it'll bring up fourth down. Number 53, Mike 53. You On fourth down, Jones. He's going to run one fly for Tate. The Giants go on fourth, but come up empty. And the Eagles are going to take over in great field position. Down two scores. I guess they felt like they needed to go for it. They must have thought they had a play to dial up that they could get it, and it didn't work out. Uh, they must have thought, as you pointed out, they had a play. They were probably looking at the number of possessions that they thought were left in the game. And down two scores. They must have thought they couldn't miss. Not taking a shot here and giving up that chance. And it is caught at the seven-yard line. 
And they corral him just a couple yards shy of the end zone. That gain of 15 gets him on the doorstep, first and goal. A good chance now to put this game on ice. This is first and goal. Here's Clement. And the second wave of tacklers is going to get him as they stop him behind the line. That's going to go as a loss of one on first down. Under four to go now as the clock runs and they come up on second down. Going now is wins. And he is going to go down. Back at the 11 yard line. Kyler Fackler. The blitz works to perfection as he gets in there to dump it for a loss of eight. It's now on third and goal. And he gets close to the goal. And intercepted. Maybe the turning point they need. Picked up by the Michigan man, Jabril Peppers. And a good turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Jones and the Giants now with a first and ten at the 20. Now Jones operating from the gun. It's held in by Shepard. And he takes us beyond the 35 before going out of bounds. Give him 18 there, and the Giants have a first down. From all the way up at the 38 now after a good start to the drive. And ready! On the draw, this is Barkley. It's a six-yard gain on the ground, and that'll make it second and four. Let's talk about football here because one of the keys to advancing the ball downfield, success on first down. Huge difference, as we know, between second and four and second and eight and nine. From the 45 on second down, Jones. And he'll get it out to midfield. Let's say he'll spot it right in midfield at the 50. A gain of five, good enough for the first down. From the midfield strike, they look to throw. Catch made by Slayton. And this will leave him a yard short. Nice pickup of nine yards on first down. Give him nine there on the first down completion. Two minutes left to play in this football game here on EA Sports. So it's Giants football here as we welcome you back. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. On second down, here's Barkley, and he'll get it down on the play to the 37. On the ball, Four on the yards ball, the pick up, first down. Deep rip, deep rip. Now Jones, nowhere to escape, and he goes down. Faster, faster. Jones signaling, let's go, let's go, trying to get his guys up to the line. To try again after the sack. Jones, and that'll be incomplete. Good protection that time, and they couldn't hook up on the low one. Now it's third down. An incomplete pass on that last play, and that means they'll need to come up with something here on third down. Back to throw. Jones. Got a man, Slayton. And he goes down, but not more. He's inside the 25. Jones now. Throwing on first down. And this is caught off for a late touchdown. So hold everything here. This one's not over yet. You know when to lean towards the defender, right? You know I'm going to do that. I know. That's a tough situation for him as I see it. But the truth of the matter is, that ball was not streaking towards him. Had a little arc on it. He's got to find a way to get his head around to make the play on the football. PAT up and good by Rosales. And now things get a bit more interesting here in this fourth quarter. And this is going to be recovered by the hands. And now the ball's out. Fumbled near midfield. And the Giants have it. It's picked up. And they take over. They'll set up shop Going the at the 46-yard line. Uh, fourth quarter, they felt like they needed the football back. Unfortunately, they couldn't get it. And the previous play is a little minutes into the game. And someone has said here that the data says that when a team's expecting an onside kick, 80% of the time, the team expecting it, they do actually recover the ball, which is what we saw here. I just wonder if that number is much more of an anecdotal type of a number. Kind of like when the coaches tell us, well, when you score on special teams, 93% of the time you win the game. I'm still waiting to see that number is empirical. We're going to shut you down. We're going to shut you down. Here we go. Here we go. Let's go, Let's go, tight end. Let's go right here now. So the challenge comes in inside of two minutes, and it gets overturned. And it changes the whole format of what's about to happen because both sides had thought a certain call had been made. Now they have to flip back and start over. Here 
So after the run for no gain, here's second and ten. Strip that ball. They go back to the ground, this time Clement. And down inside the 40 to about the 38. Yeah, baby. Once again, it's Clement, and he is going to have the first down, and that is going to suck the life right out of this crowd. Now the Giants will use the second of their three timeouts as they stop it here with just under 40 seconds to go in the game. So from the 36 now, first and 10. Wentz defers to Clement. The Giants going to burn their third and final timeout as the clock will stop with 35 seconds left to go. So they come up on second down, and they can get another run like we just saw. Would likely put an end to this thing. Now a fake on the give here as they try to run pass option. Give the sack to the run zone. Man, he got in there so quickly, Charles. What could the offense have done to adjust to the count for that? But what you're hoping is that you figure it out, and you see and get a clue that maybe there's going to be some pressure coming at you, and you change the blocking schemes. Maybe you go to max protection. The biggest one is maybe you bring your running back in to try and keep you clean. But in that case, that didn't happen. Zero accountability, and a sack resulted. Going to look deep for Jack. And his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. throw deep downfield and it's incomplete so their final drive comes up empty and with that the ball game is over well, going into the final play of this game they knew that they needed some type of a miracle there at the very end but they couldn't get it done however we were treated to really a spectacular affair even though they didn't finish it off you're exactly right. They took us down to the last play. We're still, you were wondering, could it happen? Possibly, even though we both knew it was a long shot. So for the Eagles, the win gets them back over 500 at 5-4 five and four on the year. And they will head back home next week. Meanwhile, for the Giants, they are barely afloat as they fall to 4-5. and five. And they'll try to turn things around next week as they have a matchup in Cincinnati against the Bengals.